If you reach world finals and you play against FPX, are you gonna shave your head for power? FPX is gonna, not gonna make it to world finals. Ah oh, yes, I forgot. Yeah, I mean, I, we, there's just like no point, right? Like there's no point of staying. I mean, that's that. Enemy team is LP. LP team. They invade level 1 to make sure that uh, they can win the game. Oh shit, that was a bit... The only problem is that if I don't retake both, they are gonna dive them. So I can go into enemy jungle and I can get their comms. But if I do that, then they will for sure die bot. So I think I will just go bot. And I'll try to save them. Dead. At least Lucian has no flash, maybe we can use it. I mean, the best play would be probably to like dive them both right, but I don't think we can. It's kind of funny because bot lane was uh, supposed to be fucked, but top lane got fucked instead. And like, not even fucked, just really, really hard fucked. Like, our Wukong actually can't play the game right now. I think I have to go. Oof, I, I trusted him. That's not worth it for us though. One guy died. Our bot lane died there. Like that's really not worth it for us. Because our AD carry is gonna be behind. I just wonder, like, when is Lucian getting nerfed? I think this Lucian is not gonna survive later on, though. I think it's like right now the Lucian is like slightly strong, but. We shed a lot of XP, so... Shut down. Okay, well played, very well played. This game looks more winnable now, after this double kill bot lane. <laughs> I mean, after every double kill bot lane, probably the game seems more winnable, but especially after this one seems more winnable. 
Um, I think that I will 1v9 this game, assuming I get that reset. So we just we just need to play for a Viego reset and it's fine. And I think our champs should allow me to get a reset. And they are like overall pretty squishy. So if we go on one target, it should not be it should not be a problem to kill someone. I feel like basically. <laughs> And I should be also pretty ahead of Nidali, I think. I don't think Nidali is super happy about this game. Like, at least at this point, I think she's pretty unhappy. Oh, oh. Wait, what? She messed up, no? She have jumped back. Flash for flash. Uh, top got traded one for one. I think I'm not gonna go bot. I will actually just go back to top. So I'd like to do herald this game. Because we have stronger top side and I think Hera will snowball this game out of control for them. What the fuck is going on? Are we dead? Looks like we're kinda of dead. They have to kill Kalista. If they don't kill Kalista, they don't really don't win. Yeah. They overstayed a bit. Um, after this double kill, maybe the game is back to not being so one sided anymore again. It's probably a little bit harder again. She's paying me to go mid, but she's using all of her abilities before I'm there. So right now I'm mid, but I cannot do anything because she has all the cooldowns. Very smart, right? At least the Nidali leashed the hell out of me. Could meet Nautilus here at some point. I don't know how much vision do they have. But he either base or he's in Tribush. Maybe base. I don't know though if I should use Herald here. Maybe I should. So mid lane is not gonna 1v9 because we did not play around mid lane, but I think our Wukong should be able to win silent with that uh, kind of advantage. Which also does something good for the game. Next item, probably Blade. After I have Blade, I should uh, one-shot people. Everyone, actually. Let's see. No Sunderer yet, has tabbies, I guess. I mean, my items are like pretty crazy, I think. I have like really good items. I don't think they win fights against me right now. But I doubt so, at least.
Shit! If I capture that soul, we win this fight so so hard. If I actually get that soul, they can't win. They would they would actually just get so fucked. Because I get the soul, I get EW, I heal up, I have ult after. I mean, honestly, that, that hardly like depends because maybe they can still like one shoot me when before I W or something. But I mean, we would at least have a higher chance. And besides, Kalista has six kills, seven kills, so we have to kill Kalista. I don't know what was the Aphelios thing, but Aphelios, I think, is um, he's AD carry main, I think. So he he doesn't like really play his role very well. is the only AP and she's kind of weak. I'm not sure how the player around me meant because it feel like she's yeah she's not very strong. I guess I didn't really play around her but she also didn't play around herself. If she wanted me to play around her I don't think she was playing mid lane very well. It's interesting. Because I wonder if they can actually... I mean, Trash could kill him now. But Trash didn't kill him because... Well, he thought that the other guy would kill him and the other guy didn't kill him as well. <laughs> and yeah, kind of they enjoy flaming each other, I see, so... I just base here. They will go bot tower anyway, so it's fine. It's not a big difference. Wukong is getting nerfed next patch. I didn't see much of Wukong lately, but he is getting nerfed next patch, this champion. Oh, look at my attack speed. It's so, so clean. 1 0 0. I use my flash to kill Lucian, and uh, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I feel like Kalista is getting very much out of control, and I do not know how to deal with her. I think we need a really good Wukong flank, and if we one shot Kalista because she didn't go shield bow. Um, I think we can win, but if we don't one shot Kalista, I actually don't know how to win. She's like way too balanced right now, way too balanced. My brain is very slow today as well. I don't know why, but my brain is very, very slow today. It's not every day so slow, but right now I just feel like kind of slow. I don't think this hero makes that much sense. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. Okay, 
that that makes sense now. We got ult, that's really good. Yeah, I just didn't practice not to lose it now, I guess. Every, every champion, but not to lose. I guess I'm uh, now to lose is my weak link here, so we should be careful before we take not to lose. Maybe I should not take not to so Kalista is beating GA because of Wukong, and uh, I don't know who got the big shutdown from Kalista, the Wukong as well, 1000 gold. I think when me and Wukong both get Starak, they cannot win fights for a little bit, even with uh, Kalista being strong. I mean, still really have to kill Kalista, but right now she also has just less towers to hide behind. And uh, we don't really have to kill Kalista an anymore. And what I mean by that is that my items are really, really good to kill everyone now, because I actually have Blade of the Ruined King, so my own Blade. Um, Which basically means they are really doomed. One, two, three, four. Probably should play top now. At least I could be there. This is a bit clippy what we are doing right now. Ah, Nida is pretty useless. Because I cannot change form. If we get a hook off, I think we win. If we don't get a hook off, it's a little bit more complicated than that. But we can also finish Nash, I think. Yeah, we should for sure finish Nash now. So engaging is not necessary. I think us going on is just a mistake. I guess... Even if I get this, I don't think I can catch up, so... Yeah, that's the cheat. Kalisa just died again. I mean, you see, in this game, the only carry they have is the Kalista, right? Kalista has 6 kills at some point, 7 kills at some point even. And if she doesn't carry, then no one will. So, in that kind of game, you have to count on your Kalista. And also, Kalista as the carry cannot make mistakes, I'm afraid. Okay, this is a bit awkward. Like, it's hard for me to work in there.
Maybe that though. I can't flash my butt. He also healed me, but a bit late. Oof, is this is this how we kinda end for no reason? I guess it is. Ah, because it's always like the problem is that sometimes like you you feel too powerful and you and you end, you know? Like you feel you feel like you have everything under control, but then you don't. Well, that fucking blows. Sorry. Let's get side towers at this. Okay, so that's FGA, and that's like uh, that's a very important piece of information. I feel like I probably go for uh, Witson now. I don't even know if we can fight this. I guess we do. Ah. I doubt that she'll stay there. TFLO donated three dollars. Janko, would you rather have a coin flip or KDA teammate? Does it depend on the role they have? For instance, AGC probably rather have KDA playstyle. Abdullah says donated three dollars. What's better on Diego, S Cage or D Dance? S cage or D dance? What? I understand. That stance is fine, yeah. Spirit Beast is also fine if that's what you're asking. There's a trap right here. This is a bit deep. If he was alone, otherwise he would have been. He would have been so scared. Ouch. This could be a good fight because they are really out of the base. And I will get a reset here. The only problem is Kalista can kite us really fucking hard. Still not one game. Still sweating a little bit. So we are kind of sweating a little bit. Oh. That's nice though. I get uh, some end speed, some attack speed, some AD. I also get some magic resist. I'm pretty tanky, right? Um, if we get Nash, the next Nash and the next Drake, I will have like more confidence. But right now, only me and Wukong are fed, and the rest is like kind of weak. Especially LeBlanc, and she's the only P, right? She has like one item. I have. Uh, I have four items, she has one, so you understand why I'm worried about 
this game. That's awkward. That's very awkward, no? I did get a flash. So in this case, I think we get two inhibs, and after getting two, I'm not sure if we can end, maybe we can end, but if we can end, I think we get two inhibs, and we can even base, and still probably get Dragon Nash, and that will put me into a state of mind where I think yeah, it's pretty safe that, oh wait, maybe we just end actually. I mean, if we can kill Nautilus again, I get another reset. Yeah, it's over, it's over, it's over. Nice, guys! Nice! As to listen to type, I mean Sterak or Dead Stance. I think Sterak is better on Viego than Dead Stance is. I think Sterak, the fact that they cannot burst you. Because you see, the thing about Viego is that you need a reset. To be useful on Viego, you need a reset. If you get a reset, oh, I should probably on a Wukong. But anyway, you need a reset. If you get a reset on Viego, then you are useful, right? If you don't get a reset on Viego, then you are pretty useless. So.